الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد حبت في الله as we mentioned on countless times the khawarij of the kilab and nar they're the dogs of the hellfire and to know and understand who the original khawarij were we turn to a statement of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala who said lama qatala amir al-mu'minin Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu ta'an wa sara Ali ibn Abi Talib ila Iraq wa hasala bain al-umma min al-fitna wa furqa yawm al-jamal thumma yawm al-safin ma huwa mashhur kharajat khawarij al-ma'arikun Al-Marikun Ala Taifatain Jami'an So Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimahullah Ta'ala He mentioned with regards to the history of the Khawarij And very briefly He said And when uh, the Amir Mu'mineen Uthman Ibn Affan Radiyallahu Ta'an Who was the third Khalifa From the Khulafa Rashidin Rahimahullah Jami'an Then Ali Ibn Abi Talib Radiyallahu Ta'an Who He went to Iraq and between the Muslims, there was fitna, there was fighting, and division. And this was Yomul uh, Jamal. And Bayna Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Radiallahu Ta'ala Majmeen, there was fitna, there was fighting due to ijtihad and differences uh, in view. Radiallahu Ta'ala Anhum Ajma'een. And with this fitna, the Khawarij, they came about and they fought both parties of the believers. <coughs> meaning a Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the Khawarij were known to fight the believers. So this is a part of their history. This is a part of their madhab. This is what makes them the Khawarij that they, as uh, Shaykh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah mentioned, al that they, uh, they passed, they were the, uh, they went out against and as some of the ulama mentioned, that they lit, left the religion. So this is why some of the ulama from before, from amongst the salaf, some of them, a group from them made takfir of the khawarij. What's relevant for us is to understand a lot of these groups like Al-Qaeda, like Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab, ISIL or Daesh, that these groups are contemporary groups and Ahzab from the Hizbiyun that have some of the characteristics of the Khawarij that they rebel against the Muslims uh, the Muslim authorities they divide from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah they leave the Jama'ah and they fight the Jama'ah and they make the blood the sacred blood that Allah Azawajal has made sacred of the Muslims, these people make it lawful. And this is why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described them as Kilab and Nar, they're the dogs of the fire. And this is why he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said he would fight them and kill them like the, as the people of Ad were killed, meaning to totally wipe them out. Because they are a people without mercy so they don't understand mercy. And although we see many of the youth from around the world who may have good intentions, they want to help Islam. And so they leave their lands to go to a place like Syria to fight which they believe Fisabilillah. And they join these Ahzab. They join the Hizbiyun. And these groups, these Hizbiyun, they are the Hizb al-Shaytan or Ahzab al-Shaytan. They are the parties of the devils in that they unite a group 
from amongst the Muslims to fight another group amongst the Muslims and perhaps to fight devils from the uh, disbelievers like Bashar al-Assad uh, and the, his uh, Syrian uh, government forces and others and his Bashaitan from Lebanon the Shia militias and so forth that these people are these people are totally disbelievers they're kuffar they're outside of the fold of Islam so the youth are encouraged and incited they go and leave their lands to go join what they think is good but in fact they have joined Fulda, chaos and they have joined with parties of the devils to fight against the devils. So they have joined the people of Bid'ah and innovation and desires. The people who, who affirm the, method, the madhab of the Khawarij by making takfir and making the blood of other Muslims lawful, who do suicide bombings on whoever they deem an enemy to them, whether it be a mall or a university or the fish market, wherever that may be, whether it be the Prophet Wasallam city, whether it be with the people who guard the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam city, that these people who attack them, they share this common characteristic with the original Khawarij. This is one of the biggest reasons why we discourage the youth from getting caught up and following their desires and their will. They want to help Islam, but in fact, they only cause more harm than good. And then they find themselves trapped. And they find themselves committed to a hizb that requires them to make bay'ah or that requires them to sacrifice their life and limb. And if they want to leave that hizb, they're killed. And this Ahabba Tifillah is well known. This isn't just a news report. And this isn't just from a policy think tank. But this is the waqa, the reality of those people who have been to Syria who relay this, this information to us. And those countless reports from those individuals who were once a part of some of these groups, and then those who are, are killed as supposed spies, as supposed hypocrites, and all the other things that these groups will brand you as. As the original Khawarij, takfiruhum, takfirihim ba'dahum min ba'd, that they used to make takfir of each other. This is the original Khawarij shared this characteristics. So these are some of the characteristics of these groups and we hope that our youth will wake up and realize that the best way that they can help Islam is by beginning, beginning to practice it in their lands wherever they may be. And by beginning to seek the knowledge, pure Islamic knowledge that goes back to the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. Those ulama with long white beards, not because in and of itself the beard and the whiteness of the beard, but because they spent their whole lives calling to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they have a isnad, they have a chain from ulama sunnah from before up until now. And they are not like the so-called scholars that ISIL, Al-Qaeda, and other groups have, because you, you'll find, look at it, look at it for yourself. Look at how, not just their fighters are young boys, 20, 16 to 20, 30s, young guys. And you'll find that who their ulama, they're supposed scholars, students of knowledge that have left different lands, some of them students of knowledge, some of them not, who are supposedly sheikh so-and-so, alama so-and-so gave a, gave a fatwa. Look at people like Abu Qatada, Al Palestini, or Abu Muhammad Maktasi, or the other uh, the other ideologues for the Khawarij, for the contemporary Khawarij and Takfiri groups. M most of these guys aren't even above 45. Perhaps some of them reaching, perhaps getting close to 50. Mostly they're young. They have experience in some conflict. Yes, they have experience in making takfir. Yes. They have experience in making the, law, the blood of the Muslims lawful, yes. They have experience in calling people 
to blow themselves up and make in fatwa for folda and fitna and the destruction of wealth and property of, of, of humankind. Yes, they have that experience. But do they have the experience of seeking ilm? Of seeking the basira in the ilm that's going to help you get to Jannah, that's a pathway to Jannah? Because being ignorant and doing foolish deeds, blowing yourself up and call, killing innocent people and killing others is not the path to paradise. But the path to paradise, the Prophet ﷺ said, Man Whenever Allah wants good for a person, gives him understanding of the religion. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man, man salaka Whoever traverses the path to knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. So if you really want paradise, you want to help the deen of Allah. Atlab al-ilm, seek knowledge. And seek knowledge with Salafis, with Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Do not go to the left, do not go to the right, don't go to Akhwana Muslimin, don't go to the supposed Muftis of Jama'at Tabliq or Dara Ulum, the Diobandis and the Naqshbandis. No. And don't go to the Takfiriyin, the Khawarij. And don't go to the other groups, groups of Bid'ah and Dalal, who will call you only to the hellfire. Because the Prophet ﷺ mentioned, Kulha finnal in wahida. All of them in the fire except one. Man hiya ya Rasulullah. Who are they ya Rasulullah? Qala man kana ala mithu ma kana alayhi wa ashabi. Those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. Radhi Allah ta'ala anu majma'een. Who fits this description more than anyone? It's of course Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. It's Ahl Athar. It's Ahl Hadith. It's the Salaf al Salih. It's the Salafiyin of this, the Salafiyin Haqqin. Those people are real Salafis of this day and age that really adhere to that in manners, in ilm, in fiqh, in da'wah, in minhaj, in methodology, in, in everything. And may Allah bless us to be from amongst them and forgive us of our many shortcomings.